We'll now define a special kind of matrix called a vector. Definition. A vector is a matrix with either only one row or only one column. And having defined two types of vectors, I'll now say that in this class, we're going to be working pretty much exclusively with this type of vector, column vectors. That is to say, matrices with a single column. Now, having defined vectors to be special types of matrices, matrices, it usually makes more sense to think of them as being kind of their own thing. Because the things you do to and with vectors are different from the things you do to and with other matrices. Matrices. You wouldn't perform Gauss-Jordan elimination on a vector, for example. There'd never be any reason to do that. So let's talk a little more about vectors. What can we do with them? And what properties do they have? So first, a bit of terminology, driving home what I said, that it usually makes sense to not think of vectors as matrices, but as kind of their own thing. They get their own terminology. Instead of talking about n by 1 matrices, we talk about vectors vectors in Rn. Similarly, they get their own notation. In your textbook, vectors will be represented by lowercase bold letters. And also in my written notes as lowercase bold letters. In these videos and in my classroom, where we're writing by hand and bold is hard to do, vectors are written as lowercase letters with little bars above them. Now let's talk about vectors algebraically. We can talk about vectors being equal or not equal. Two vectors are equal if they have the same dimension and the same elements in the same order. So if I tell you that a vector 1a equals a vector b2, what I'm saying is that the first elements are equal and the second elements are equal. A slightly less trivial than that, we can add vectors, although I should say we can't add all vectors. We can add two vectors if they have the same number of elements. Addition is done component-wise. 
what I mean by that is if we have one vector plus another vector, then to do this addition, we add the first elements. We add the second elements and so on down the line. <laughs> um, for example, one, two, plus three, negative seven, is four, add these, negative five, add these. And we subtract in exactly the same way. I'm not going to rewrite all of this, I'll just make the observation that if instead of addition, you had subtraction, that would turn all of those plus signs to minus signs. Multiplication. We do not multiply vectors by other vectors. But we do have a type of multiplication called a scalar multiplication, where instead of multiplying a vector by another vector, we multiply a vector by a real number. And the way this multiplication works is that this real number is multiplied by each element of the vector to create a new vector. So for example, if you have two times the vector one, three, that's the vector two, six. We just did each of these multiplications.